Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. Today I'm going to show you a new end-to-end -end web app testing tool or automated web testing tool called Cypress, cypress.io. One of the guys at Automatic uh, clued me into this earlier today. I've been playing with it and it's very similar to uh, Selenium and Selenium WebDriver. Obviously they uh, have replaced Selenium with their own engine, but it's very similar in how it works and in fact uses uh, Mocha and Chai to um, do all that. So let's uh, take a look at this. It's an NPM package. So again, Node.js and NPM to install it and run it. And uh, let's get started with this in my PHP Storm projects directory. So I'm going to create a new test directory. Make sure with NPM that you have NPM running. I'm running 5.6, which is uh, good. That means the NPX or NP node package execute um, helper will be in here. You'll see why that will help in a minute. And let's just do npm install Cypress. So we'll let that run and then I'll come back uh, as soon as that's finished. Okay, that download took you know, 20, 30 seconds on a 25 meg download uh, speed. And you can see it automatically now runs the node index.js execute install command for you. So uh, even though in the get it started docs here, you'll, it'll tell you to do that. You don't need to do that anymore. Just running npm install Cypress will set that up for you. So we're going to let that run and pull down the rest of the binaries. In this case for my Mac, it will detect what you need, whether you're Windows or Linux as well. So let's let that run and we'll come back when that's ready. Okay, so that's uh, done with the install. Let's pull down the binaries and it's ready to go. Now, if you have a newer version of NPM, then 5.2, you can just use the npx command. That's what I'm gonna do here. If not, you can run the command manually as it shows on the Cypress IO docs page. So let's go ahead and run npx uh, Cypress open. And it's gonna take a minute here while it loads up the environment and checks to see that everything's in place and actually build some uh, demo content for us. So uh, we'll let that run and then I'll kind of pick it up with another project I have underway so we can kind of fast forward to some cooler tests. Okay, so I've jumped over to another project I already started. It will um, show us what's going on a bit quicker. In this case, I did the same exact steps we just saw, but I've already got some stuff preloaded here. When it first runs, it'll have an exam example specs and it will fire up uh, when you run it from the command line, a window like this. Now I've done it from inside my uh, PHP Storm IDE because I want to be able to edit my code uh, directly in the IDE. That's why you're seeing the environment's a little different here. Uh, but it will always come with this example spec JS file, which if you click it will run and it will start downloading and executing a bunch of things against the um, Cypress library. I'm gonna run my test spec, and my test spec is the code you see up here, where it's uh, following the very familiar um, describe and it clauses uh, that we've seen before in our WebDriver IO test, but this is using the Cypress um, command modules and code. So you'll see that we start with things leading in with a sci dot. In this case, it's gonna set the viewport or the browser size in the window. It's gonna to go to my test site, look for a link called login and click it. So you can see the syntax is a little bit simpler. They've added some more syntactic sugar if you've been reading my blog posts. I'm gonna go to my login and I'm gonna log in. Now, the environment variables, you set those at the command line and you could do it before you run your uh, Cypress command. So just so you have an understanding of how that works. These are documented on the site, but you would do export. You start with Cypress, it can be upper or lowercase, doesn't matter, underscore, and then the variable that you're gonna use inside the app. And so I can do a user like test, for example. Uh, and then I can also do the same thing for SA underscore pass, as you see here, um, just replacing this piece with SA underscore pass. So um, I've already done that before I've run the command. It's important you do it before you launch the environment or the env environment variables won't be available. So you can't go back and add them later. You'll wanna set those ahead of time. I'm doing that for username and passwords because I don't want it in my repository. Um, so once all that stuff's up and running, we can bring up this um, window here. And I'm gonna run this test spec and you'll see that it fires up a brand new Chrome window here really big Chrome window because I'm doing a large browser test. But you can see it's showing the execution of the test over here, all the commands from our test on a sidebar, as well as its own copy of a browser window. So unlike WebDriver.io, 
it not only shows you the browser window here as it's executing, allows you to record screenshots and captures like that, it also shows you every test and every result. So you can see here that uh, it set the viewport, went to the site, clicked the login, all these things have passed. When it runs the assert commands, it's checking. That's this should have value um, tests. It's gonna tell you whether it passed or failed. So here it um, went to the login page, uh, typed in test, it checked after it typed in test that it had that value. Same thing with the password. Then it submitted it and got to this page. Uh, the other thing you'll notice about Cypress is you can actually go through and see, it's kind of got a mini time capsule, if you will, of what happened at each step. So I can start from where I am now and look back just by highlighting and it will show me the screenshot of what was going on at any given point in time. So these are all really nice add-ons and features that go well beyond what uh, Selenium WebDriver has out of the box. You can get stuff like this configured with Selenium, but there are a lot of libraries, a lot of installs of node modules, a lot of configuration. Uh, so I'm really liking Cypress IO. It is open source. It's available on GitHub. They do have a commercial version that's coming um, for team sharing and test sharing and that sort of stuff coming down the road. I think they said the pricing was gonna be 99 a month for teams, but you do not have to sign up for that. You can use the free stuff for now. And the current uh, site is telling you that they plan to always have a free level. Uh, unless you're using a big team with commercial collaboration, you won't need that. So that's Cypress IO. Thanks to uh, Chris, shout out to him over at Automatic for cluing me into this. Perfect timing as I was just getting in a bit deeper into WebDriver IO. So there you go, that's Cypress for you in a nutshell. I'll have an article on lance.bio as well uh, to go over some of what I've shown you here if you want to follow along there. As always, thanks for watching.